Uh, hello guys, my name is Yuri Shivaga and I'm a game designer at Frogwares. Uh, you've sent us a lot of great questions and I will answer them right, right now. So let's start. Uh, Dan Smith and uh, why do you change the voice actors throughout the series, especially Watson? I was very fond of him in the older games. So then, if you don't mind, I will combine my reply to your question with the next one uh, from Michael McLeod. And he's asking, uh, what was the reasoning behind the design change for the new Sherlock Holmes and Watson? Especially considering how long-standing and iconic the old design and voices were. Okay, so why do we change uh, Sherlock Holmes and Watson all the time? Uh, to be honest, we'll, we do it every time. Every hour new game is a new Sherlock Holmes and Watson because because the message of the game is all the time different. Uh, before, like in Sherlock Holmes, Crime and Punishments, it was a truly a iconic ex experience. The Sherlock Holmes was a uh, gentleman. Uh, he was not really that emotional. In The Devil's Daughter, we tried to um, make him more. Uh, living, more emotional, that could care about the others, not only about himself. And the message of the game was different. Uh, it was not about uh, the crimes and punishments and more about the family. Uh, so that's why it has some of the uh, people liked our new look of the Sherlock Watson, others don't. Well, uh, we'll think about that in future. Uh, Grand Kelly Henry. Where do you guys get your inspiration for your stories? Uh, other than Conan Doyle and Lovecraft, obviously. Uh, well, when you work in game design or in game development overall, it never stops. You can get your inspiration from everywhere, from movies, music, from everyday life experience. You just uh, think how you can transmit it into the game. Uh, for example, for the Sherlock Holmes game, uh, one of the inspiration for the uh, character observation feature was uh, from the BBC Sherlock. Uh, next question. Uh, Kalika Jack, do you ever do open beta testing for your games? Uh, not for now. Not for now because uh, Sherlock Holmes and all the games we did before, it is a, a narration experience. So if we launch it in open beta, people will just spoil everything for themselves, all the story twists. Uh, the open beta fits for other type of games like uh, online games and uh, the open world games where everyone has his own experience exploring it. And yeah, by the way, the Sinking City is the open world game, so we'll think about that. Um, Ro Gorzuka, now, uh, how to get hired by you guys? Well, we are now growing. Uh, we um, have open positions on our Frogwares website. And if you are a talented guy and you are passionate about the games and you can um, teach us a lesson or two, then welcome aboard. What plans do you have for future Sherlock Holmes games in terms of gameplay and storytelling? For now, Sherlock is on the vacation. We are all concentrated on working on the Sinking City. It's the investigation game in the open world based on Lovecraftian universe. We are really passionate about this game and we put all our efforts into developing it. So yeah, Sherlock took a break for now. When we finish the Sinking City, we'll think about returning to him again. Um, Travis Newman, is the Signet City another Sherlock Holmes game or is an original game? Well, yeah, basically the same reply. Sinkin City is the different game. It's in America in 1920s. So here you go, the setting is different. In the fictional city of Auckland, Massachusetts. And you know, now that I think about it, it would be glad it would be cool to see some familiar faces in the, in this game, if you know what I mean. Uh, Samantha Puchlers, uh, when you are developing, what do you begin with? Do you script first, storyboard first? What is your initial conception process like? Okay, I'll try to reply with a more basic answer, and that is you can't just 
begin and start doing the game. You can't just uh, dive into the production and start modeling every scene or writing stories. Uh, the first and very important phase is the idea of the game, is the pre-production phase. When we think about what is our game is all about, what's the message of our game, and what emotions we want our players to feel, and we kind of build the pillars of the game and we try to stick to it, and when the production phase comes, we return to it constantly and think, does it feel the pillars, the idea, and the message of our game that we want to deliver or not? Uh, Yelena Garavaya, what is the story behind the name Frog Wars? Well, it's kind of trivial. Uh, we here do games, which is basically the software of entertainment. And uh, yeah, the guy that started it all came from France. So there you go. Uh, Mark Sherapal, why, uh, why was the US version delayed? Um, well, actually, we as game developers, we don't really control uh, the distribution process. We do the game and then it's... Uh, we, are sorry, we are sorry that it happened, but there was nothing actually we can do about it. Um, that's it, that's it. And thank you guys for all the questions. It was a pleasure for me to reply to them. And I hope we meet next time.